Okay, how's everyone doing? I hope you guys are all having a just a solid week. Um, today, today we are getting into part two um, of this discipleship series that we uh, we started a couple weeks ago. Um, so today we are looking at an important aspect of Christianity: the fact that it is not going to be easy. Um, so yeah, that that's kind of what we're gonna dive into a little bit. Let's get started. Okay, first things first, um, this is the thing that probably comes to mind when I say like, we're making a video about how Christianity isn't gonna be easy. This is, this is probably what you're thinking of, this is probably what you're assuming I'm gonna talk about, and that is persecution. Um, and so Jesus, he is pretty clear that one of the ways that a life spent following him is going to be difficult um, is that Christians will be persecuted. In John, Jesus says, if you were of the world, the world would love you as its own. But because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. And later on, he says, if they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. The writers of the epistles are pretty blatant about this as well. Uh, 2 Timothy 3.12 says, Indeed, all who desire to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. Now, arguably this persecution looks a lot different today for those of us living in, in the Western world. Um, but that being said, chances are we're still going to encounter some hostility, some resistance, um, even if that's on a, a smaller scale. Um, we're still going to encounter some some resistance as we profess our faith in Jesus Christ in this post-Christian age. Okay, now this second reason um, why the life of discipleship is not easy might not be something you really thought of before, like in this way. Um, but our call to, to separate ourselves from sin, to flee from sin, is one of the challenges we face as followers of Jesus. In Matthew 5, Jesus says something pretty intense. He says, if your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. For it is better that you lose one of your members than that your whole body be thrown into hell. Like that, <laughs> that's intense. Um, Jesus tells us that we need to take this separation from sin seriously. And, and that is not going to be easy. That is going to be a serious challenge, as, as I'm sure we all are aware. Um, and, and especially when others are just doing whatever they want, when our non-Christian friends are just, you know, just doing whatever they want, it, it makes it so hard. We need to trust the work of the Spirit who sanctifies us and who makes us holy. Um, but what that requires from us is, is that we do our best to flee from sin and pursue God instead. Okay, now finally, um, we're going to talk about our call to work. Um, now, now, let me be very clear. Um, I, we are not saved by our works. That is not what I'm trying to communicate here. Um, but, but the Christian life is not about sitting around and doing nothing. Uh, we're, we're called to action, and, and so this is this is obviously a pretty broad thing. Um, and so. In this video, I'm just going to look at two aspects of what it means to be called to do good work. Okay, so the first one is fruits of the Spirit. Um, now, as Christians, we have the Holy Spirit working in and through us. Um, and, and our lives should bear fruit that dem... Oh, sorry, I got a text message. Um, where was I? Um, yeah, fruits of the Spirit. Uh, spirit lives in us. Um, and our lives demonstrate should demonstrate that that is a true fact. In Galatians 5, it says the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These are the things that people should see in our lives. Um, and, and so secondly, so we, we have fruits of the Spirit. Secondly, uh, I want to talk about our call to evangelize. Um, this, is, this is obviously a pretty crucial part of the work we're called to as Christians. Um, the Great Commission says, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. We're called to go out and tell the world about Jesus. Um, and, and that 
that's just a huge part of, of what we're called to. Um, I made a video a while back on evangelism, um, kind of going more into depth on it. So definitely go check that out if you're interested. Um, but yeah, evangelism is, is crucial to the work that we're called to. Okay, that's the video. Um, I'm about to run out of battery on my camera. Um, so I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna do a quick recap um, of the challenges that we face as Christians. So the first one that we talked about was persecution. Um, the second one was separation from sin. Um, and then the third one was the call to work. Um, so yeah. That's the video. That's discipleship part two. Um, we'll do part three in a couple weeks here. Um, I'm sorry if I'm talking really fast. I just want to run, do this before my camera runs out of battery. Um, so yeah, that, that's all. Um, hit the little subscribe button for more videos every single week. Drop a comment if you're so inclined. Like the video. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next week.